Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to use some product with uh, problems that has multiple criteria. So let's go with the first example here. I have here product, customer, and total sales. So basically, the requirement is to get the total sales of, uh, of product to uh, limiting it to customer B. So I'm going to write some product for that. Well, the array will be going to go first with the result, which is the total sales, then comma. The first uh, criteria here requires uh, a parenthesis, so I'm going to put open parenthesis for that. I'm going to look for the customer B here. And using this range, if this is equal to customer B, that's your first criteria, close it. Then combine it with an asterisk, proceed to the second criteria, which is the product, open parenthesis here. Select the list of product here, equal sign, the product that is in here. Okay, close it, close it, and that's it. You have this amount here. Let me check it if that is okay. And this is product to customer B, and that's it. This is the, the sum of uh, 909 and 1116. So let me check this part here. So what happened here is, this is the array, which is the result, of course, the result. Then you have the criteria here, which is a true or false value. If it's true, yes, there is, uh, the, that is the result for customer B. And uh, that works also on a product. And you see that in F9, that's a true or false value. It's, let's take a look on this. So that's it. Now, escape f2 again and select the whole thing here now it turns into 0, 1, 0, 0. so that's basically the the work of an asterisk there to convert true or false value into a one or zeros now you have one one and zeros there and then you have a value here so that could be multiplied with each other 904 multiplied by 0 that's 0 909 multiplied by 1, that's 909, and then the two ones here with a value that will be combined using the sum, and that will get you, in this case, 2025. So that's the sum product. Now the other way is to, actually the the array here has no sequence, you can, you can uh, proceed first with your criteria here, okay, comma, and then your result, desired result. That is the same. Now you can also use, uh, let me go back to this, copy and paste it here. You can also replace this uh, asterisk here, comma, but make sure that you use double negative, which is technically negative 1 multiplied by negative 1, which is positive 1. That can convert as well the true or false value into a 1 or zeros. So that's it. That's the same thing. So you can use any of those formulas. Let me just uh, put the formula here for reference. So that's it. Now, uh, on the second example, it's basically, let's move on on this part. The second example, we have the same thing, product, customer, but the results here is, uh, the results are divided into a per quarter. So we're looking for quarter two in this case, customer B and product two. So some product, again, that's the same thing. We'll add another criteria, which is the, the quarter here. Some product, I'm gonna use all the, the results here, this array and comma. Well, open parenthesis for the first criteria. Let me work on the customer, equal sign, customer B. Combine it with uh, the next one. Just the product here, select all the product, equal sign, the required product here, and then asterisk, uh, the quarter here. Check it out. This is a uh, horizontal, or working on a row that can also be handled by the sum product, and equal sign, quarter two, close it, close it, and uh, that's it. You get the total amount here for quarter to customer with product. Let me just convert it again. Copy and paste it here for reference. Let's see formula. Now um, I'm gonna copy this one, convert it into a double negative. Let's check it. 
okay, replace the asterisk with the, with a comma, then for the criteria, all your, your criteria with true or false, make it as double negative. So you can see that wouldn't work because the double negative can handle this part, this multiple column for the result. Uh, double negative can only handle one column, one range of column or row, but not multiple. So you, you can just uh, use asterisk if that is the case. So that's it. Now let's move on to a more challenging example. So I have your product again in sales, but this time with a date. This time handling dates in this case. I'm going to remove this. Um, okay, the requirement will be the year and the product. We're going to find the total sales for 2020 and product 3. So the first thing is uh, maybe for a beginner, you can just use helper for that and extract the year. In this case, use the formula year, okay, copy and paste it. Now you have the, the year here, and then you, you can put that in, in some product, some product, and then the array, I'm going to use my usual formula for that. First thing is the result, then uh, for, the, for the criteria, I'll work for the product first, okay, so this is equal to the product, combined it with... Uh, the year this time you can just use the helper cell here and then equal to the required year here close it close it and that's it that's the let me check it it's 2020 here and for product three which is only two okay that's the amount now you can use as well uh double negative okay that's it you can use that but uh, the goal here is to remove this helper cell and then put this year formula here in the sum product. And to do that, okay, not gonna edit, I'm gonna write it on scratch. So the first thing is the result, comma, and then uh, the second one is uh, the criteria. The first criteria is the product, okay, the easiest one equal to the product multiplied by the year so in the year you just put year on that because some product can handle an array just choose all of it okay test that year extract that year one by one close it if that is equal to the year required year here okay close it that's your requirement and then another close and that's it that's the same thing here now, uh, in this case, uh, we have three criteria. Now we have the month and then the year and then the product. In this case, uh, you can also again use a helper for that for the month, but in the month, you got, you're going to use text for that to extract the month. You can just choose the value here, comma, and then provide the format for the month, which is MMM, and you got the month here, okay? And then put that in, in some product here. I'm going to just copy this. Okay. And then just refer it to this one. Okay. okay. 2021. And then I'm going to add here another criteria for the month. Which is uh, using the helper cell here is equal to the month here. And then close it. That's it. Okay, very neat formula with a lot of helpers, no problem. Okay, and the next thing is to uh, remove the helper. Okay, I'm gonna write it and then put this year and month here in the sum product. No problem with that. Use the array, then work on the, the easiest criteria, which is the product. Okay, equal sign, copy, asterisk, open parentheses. Now work on the year. You know that already, extract the year, close, equal sign for the year here, and then asterisk now for the month, it's the same, text, then what is the value, extract all the value, comma, provide the format for the month, okay, close it, and then equal sign January for this, close it close it and that's it that's the same thing removing the helper cells now uh the next part here is to combine this uh 
month and year here and just provide two criteria in your sum product. So to do that, let me just write it again here. Okay. This is the array, comma. So the first criteria, the easy criteria, which is the product. Okay, equal sign, product, asterisk. Now, for the month and year, you're going to do uh, a text again. Text uh, formula for that, the value will be to extract this value here one by one. And then the format now is month and year. Okay, month and year. That will be Gen 2021 in this case and so on and then close it now equal sign for the criteria we're gonna uh, join the month first because month and year with an ampersand to connect the year okay that's your criteria now close it close it you have the same result with this um, different kind of way of solving in some product and that's it. I'm pretty sure I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe to my channel. And see you next time and thanks.